All right, good morning, folks. Um, early morning on a Tuesday. Um, just got up. Uh, I usually get up and run or um, take a walk through the neighborhood and uh, wake the best and try to get the blood flowing uh, before school. Um, this is usually when I come out and get a lot of stuff done out here in the garage, whether it's you know taking something apart, uh, just cleaning things up. This is when I like to come out early in the morning and kind of knock some things out. So we're gonna do a quick video on um, these polyurethane vent caps and uh, they've been uh, base coated. They're still a little rough, um, you know, and so they're getting ready for a clear coat. Um, you can feel they're kind of rough, so the first thing that we want to do um, is we're gonna use some of this sprayway glass cleaner. Uh, this stuff is ammonia free. Uh, so uh, it's not going to reactivate the base coat or the primer or anything, uh, which is good. Um, so we're just going to spray. This basically um, acts like a prep spray. Um, so you paint something and um, it sits around for a couple of days, you know, and it collects some dust. You can spray it with this stuff and this will keep it, uh, this will clean it, uh, but it won't reactivate any of, you know, the paint or primer that you've already got on it. So you can see when I wipe the rag off, nothing comes off with it. So the next thing we're gonna do, let me get my spray bottle of water. All we're gonna do next is just take some regular, regular water, kind of spritz it down a little bit. We're using this uh, 3M 3200 grit, or sorry, 1200 grit paper. And we're just gonna kind of gently glide it along. Um, this will take off some of the high spots if there are any. Um, I have not been over this yet, but I can feel kind of when I go across it, it's, I feel when I go across it, it's a little rough. So if you've got any high spots or anything, this is going to take those down. That's why you can kind of see some of the paint uh, in the moisture, or in the water rather. Not a big deal though. Um, and if you realize that you've taken too much off, um, you can hit it with some of that glass spray again. Yeah, it's working better for us. The big thing with this polyurethane that I'm finding, I've never really painted it before um, with this kind of detail. Um, is that it's really hard to get it perfect um, just because of the texture of it. So if you realize that you've taken too much off, um, you could scuff it a little bit uh, with like some 800 grit and go back over it. Um, but I'm pretty proud of that. It feels pretty good. Um, when, my prop, when my clear coat comes in, I might hit it again. Um, so we'll just kind of have to see. As you can see, it doesn't take very long at all. Get a fresh rag. That way we don't wipe any potential. Yeah, this one has some low spots down here for sure. Um, so it's like, it always seems like around these edges right here, when you get close to the edge, that's where it starts to get kind of rough, so, oops, reaching for the water. So there again, these vent caps are going on a 20 year old truck, and the paint job is in pretty good shape, um, but I do drive the truck um, every day to work, um, about 30 minutes on the highway one way, so it sees, <laughs> It sees a lot of drive time for a 20 year old truck that has some of the modifications done to it that it has. So, yeah. So, there again, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty pleased with that. Um, again, you can kind of, if you saw close, you can kind of see some of the imperfections in the vent caps, um, just in the material. Um, Could have probably taken care of that in the beginning, um, but. So far, pretty proud of it. Um, so pretty soon, once they're cleared, we'll get them back on the truck and we'll show you a video and you'll see what they look like. I test fitted them the other day and they look pretty good. So um, that's our Tuesday morning little tech tip. 
on all the stuff that we've been using. Um, I feel like I finally have it, a process figured out that's working good, so hopefully this could work for you. Peace.